as you know, Manuel, like I haven't been drinking. Like I've been mm -hmm. sober. I've been on this little journey to clear my head because mm -hmm. I don't want to like not have clarity of what's going on around right. me. So that day, um, I went to Best Regards. I took like seven, eight shots back to back because I wanted to black out and I had my gun in my hand and I drove. I don't honestly, from the time that I left the bar to going to the gas station just to sit there for a little bit to try to like catch my snap because I was way too drunk. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that's the last thing I remember that I drove off and my sisters were worried. And this is what they're telling me now. This is not what I remember. Okay. Cause I, I blacked out. Right. Um, they said that I was calling them screaming and crying and said that I've had enough to take care of my kids that nobody's going to love them the way I do. So to please love them the way I do. Mm -hmm. They said that I was screaming on the top of my lungs saying, I'm tired of my life. I'm tired of my life. Yeah. He doesn't leave me alone. And, um, they said, Claudia, you didn't sound like yourself because you kept jumping back and forth from that to screaming about uncle that molested you and then going back to that and then going back to what happened in your childhood and then jumping back from that to talking about other shit. She was like, you were all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we got scared. We called the cops. We told them what was going on, that you were about to commit suicide and you had your gun with you. And they did a welfare check. Mm -hmm. And when they did the welfare check, well, they found me in fucking Montgomery County. How did they find you? Don't they? Because Chris, my son, had my location. Oh, okay, okay. And so when they were able to pinpoint my, my location, they said that they found me on the side of the road on the feeder, uh, knocked out with my gun to my right lap. No. And, I, again, I don't recall nothing, okay? I don't remember nothing. I don't remember them arresting me. I don't remember nothing. Because, obviously, I was trying to ease my way into committing suicide. I just remember waking up like this on my side, and I saw, you know, the, the, the jail cell. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember I was trying to, like, snap out of it because I was still drunk. And then I turned around, and I looked to my left. It was this old little nice black lady sitting there. And she's like, oh, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. You know, she was just praying and reciting prayers. Mm -hmm. And I said, are you okay? And she's like, no, are you okay? She's mm -hmm. like, honey, you came in here like a dove. I don't even know what you drank or if you were under the influence of something, mm -hmm. but I'm just happy to know that you're alive. And because I was trying to commit suicide, they had me naked with this fucking, that looked like a, almost like a bulletproof vest thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what they had me wrapped around. And um, after that, I started asking myself, like, what the fuck am I doing here? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I didn't know what I was doing in jail. And then finally, the lady, the guard comes and she, I ask her, I'm like, wh wh why am I here? And she goes, for a DWI. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, but why am I in here, like, with no clothes on? Mm -hmm. Because you try to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, my God. But I will say the very next day, um, as you know, I'm also a life coach. Mm -hmm. I was still responding to people. And there was one lady that stood out to me because she, she was like, I really need to talk to someone. And I heard you're the go-to girl. So she, it was, long story short, it was about her and her husband. They needed to reconcile. Mm -hmm. I talked to her. I'm not going to put her business out there, but I talked to her. And in the very end, I, I remember a message that she wrote me. She wrote, um... <sighs> She wrote this. Thank you for being a good person. And I hope that you continue helping people because, my dear, you have a gift. Everything that you have said has really resonated in me. And I don't know, I don't ever speak this way, but everything you have said is very true. And I wish you the best in life and just know that God has you here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. So when I read that, that was kind of like confirmation to me that I, I don't need to be killing myself over mm -hmm. this asshole, right? right? That has ruined my life. And right. I, along with the other people that are sitting here cheering him on, on his page and to sabotage my life. And so now I'm just like, you know what? I need to get it together. This just happened a few days ago and I'm still trying to like find my light again. You know, I'm still right. trying to remind myself that I am a good person. And whatever he says, whatever rumors he puts about me, it's not true. Right, for sure. So, yeah. yeah.
Well, yeah, that could definitely mess somebody's life up. It you know? does. It's crazy. I mean, I'm I'm sure you've noticed too that I've been distant even from you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you actually. I mean, you know. Well, I've seen you overcome a lot of different things. So, but I think you you kind of get it back to back, all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my God, but. One thing I know about you is you get back up and you keep moving. Uh, but having a stalker and having to worry about what's going on around you, cars around you, like dude, that's calls, no like somebody to live. That's insane. It sucks. Like right now in my car, I sat there for like five minutes, mm -hmm. looking at my rear views, yeah. looking behind me. Be be before you get people. out, you got to do like, that at the grocery everywhere, store too. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Even at my house, I sit in front of my house for fucking ten minutes. Wow. I circle the block ten ten times. It's like an obsessive thing that I've grown because I don't know if he's coming for me or not. Right. And I've already talked to. Luckily, um, I feel like this happened for a reason with my suicidal thing mm -hmm. because I was able to meet an attorney, Eric Clay. Um, he's very well connected with FBI agents. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot with human traffickers. No. And so with him, he asked me just about the DWI. He wanted to know what happened. Mm -hmm. But I told him the truth. What happened is my stalker called me, talked about my molestation and my and my rape. <clears throat> yeah. And that triggered me to want to kill myself. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. No, wh who's this guy? So wait a minute. You're a victim. Right. He's like, you're a victim. So you didn't go get behind the wheel and drink, he said, because you wanted to. You did it because you had a reason. And well, yeah. so from there, he, he kind of went on talking about, I want to know the whole story now. So I told him everything I've told you. Of course, there's so much shit in between, right? But yeah. I told him everything. From there, he was like, no, we're going to get your DWI dismissed. We're going to tell him that it's because of mental health and you're a fucking victim. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show them that why haven't they done anything about it? And that's the big problem yeah, right now in Houston. About how many police reports do you think you've done? I have 112 police reports. That you've done and they haven't done nothing? Nothing. That's crazy. And, and they were just talking about this the other day. What HPD, they have all these open cases with victims. Mm -hmm. Sexual assault, just assault, period, family violence. And they don't do anything about it. And they don't have enough um, staff or something? You think? I feel like it's just Houston, they're just underpaid, you know? And maybe they just don't put that much effort to want to do more because it's just a job now, right? It's like a pile of shit, though. It's just, it is. I mean, when they, when they stole my truck, <laughs> Yeah. you know, like, it was just like, okay, what do you do? And everybody's getting their shit stolen on a daily over here. Over here, And yeah. they don't care that they're not going to go investigate it. They don't care about none of that stuff. You know what I will say? I don't think is that they don't care. And something that I've learned over time, no. there is so many cases in Houston right that's, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's, they're it's, oversaturated. Basically. And one thing that I, I will that sticks to me, that which I'm going to tell other women or men that are going through something similar that I, I actually do believe is that they said, yes, you're a victim. We're sorry. But guess what? Yours going to be now put at the bottom of the list. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to go do their work, unfortunately. Well, yeah, that's how it and is. And you know what? I've you know how much money I've spent. No. Private investigators, apps. That's how I was able to get his number. No. I had to download an app, fucking sixty nine ninety nine for that shit. I know it's not a lot to some, but to me, whenever I'm not working anymore, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Right. Because it's dipping into my kids' mouths. Right. But it costs a lot of money for you to put your own investigation together. Right. But he did tell me when you're done getting everything compiled, <coughs> that report number that you have, mm. take everything you have, go to, go to HPD in downtown, bring it in a nice little um, uh, binder mm. with a little ribbon on top and say, here's all your work. Now go get him. And I wonder if they'll even do anything with that. <laughs> and you know what? It's still going to go on the bottom no. of the pile. <laughs> you know why? Because the very last time I called the cops, the motherfucker was on the phone. Yeah. And I was crying. I was scared. He's he knew where my son goes to school. I was yeah. fucking scared. And I said, look, 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 listen, listen. And then HPD goes, hello. He goes, fuck you. And I said, that's the police officers, you fucking dumbass. Well, fuck you and fuck all your team. Come find me, bitch, because if you don't find me, I'm gonna find her and I'm gonna kill her first. He said it right on the phone mm. to the HPD. And I'm looking at him like with these eyes, like help me, you know? 
And I'm like, well, what are you going to do? He, he literally just threatened me. You're my witness. Right. Do you, you know what he said nonchalantly? And you sure you don't know this guy? Yeah. And I'm like, no, I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know his name. I never met the guy. Mm-hmm. But here's his number. I was like, well, how do you know that that's his number? I said, dude, he just called. I used an app and I unmasked his number. This is him. And then I'm like, look, this is his Facebook, Steve Voss. Yeah. Well, how are you going to connect that profile with your with your guy? And I said, I'm going sh- to show you why. Because on there on the comment, he said, which I'm sure I'll, I'll send it to you so you can put it up. Mm-hmm. He puts, put your faggot son back on the phone, you stupid bitch. Mm-hmm. I already told you I'm going to fucking kill you. And I said, that's exactly what he wrote here on the text. Mm-hmm. I said, that's him. And look, and it's the, the the evidence is right in front of them. Right. They didn't say nothing other than here's your police report. Yeah, because they don't want to be they don't want to spend no time on that. <laughs> yeah, because to them, again, I think it's a two sided thing. Mm-hmm. They're they're underpaid, so to them it's like. Uh, well, it's just it, well, another like person. when 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 they stole my truck, I went and I uh, grabbed all the evidence in there. I, I made a little Ziploc bag. And uh, they left all kind of evidence. I'm talking about IDs, credit oh, cards. I still have okay. his ID. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about like the white guy. You know, if they wanted to easily fingerprint this person and find them, they could. They That's could've. simple. You know, they, they left crack pipes with all their fucking DNA. I on remember it. you were telling me that. And you know, I told them, look, this is all like this is everything right here. And they they were like, well, how do you know if it was stolen that it didn't get stolen by somebody else and or that they didn't steal that crack pipe and all this information you give us from somebody else and putting it in the car. I'm like, come on, man. They just... So they, like, debunk everything that you work for. Because maybe, like wanna, you said, they, they don't, don't care. Mess with, they don't want to mess with that they shit. They don't want to waste their time on it. No. Again, because I feel like they're underpaid, maybe. But, like, in your situation, mine, you know, I could write it off. I mean, I was just like, you know what? I'm stressed out about it. I just got to let it go, and I just let it go. But you, you got to deal with it every single day. So yours is more like a cry for help on a daily basis. You know? Well, not only that, and then he, he extorts me online. You know, he, he sends customers my way. He went on his Facebook, put my numbers on there, and mm-hmm. I have the screenshots, and I showed it to the agent finally, where he's saying, call Claudia VK, this is her number, send her dick pictures, send her this and her that, she'll fuck you, da-da-da-da. And, I, man, when I tell you, I haven't worked since probably mid-last week, Till now, I've only worked twice. Mm. But before that, I haven't worked for a month. Yeah. Because I don't know who the fuck is calling me these days. Right. I don't know if it's coming from him or if it's, in fact, coming because it's a customer. And then I started getting bad reviews. Claudia doesn't answer the phone. I showed up. She's not here. Da, 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 da. Mm. And I have to contact these customers back and tell them not everything I'm going through, but I'll tell them, look, I have a, a stalker. Bit, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't know you were a real customer. I'm, I will give you a discount if you don't mind rebooking. And the and then they would rebook, you mm-hmm. know. But it, it's caused me hell, man. Like it, it really has. It's been awful. It's been a nightmare. And the only thing I could say to somebody else out there, if you're going through something, you're gonna have to just hire your own PI, get gather all your information, and submit it to the FBI, because that's what I'm doing now. Because right. I kind of don't have a choice. Because Houston's not doing anything. Hmm. Yeah. That's a crazy story. I, I I appreciate you for coming and uh, talking about that. Um, I would like to get into other stuff, but that's for another day. Today we're going to just end it on that. Uh, do you have a message for anybody that's watching, uh, you know, as far as that topic? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um. <sighs> This is coming from somebody that's going through this every single day. Like, mm-hmm. don't hide it. Don't don't sit and feel like, oh, I feel nasty, I feel disgusting. We all do shit that we once regret, right? Yeah. And so that one regret does teach you a lesson, yes, because it taught me one, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're not disgusting, you're not ugly, you're not a bad person. We're all fucking human beings. You just got to take more control over it. And I would definitely say, like, mentally... Like, definitely find time to meditate because, man, this shit really, really does eat you up. Like, it eats you up, especially when you don't have support. I've had to call fucking hotlines just to get support, you know? Mm-hmm. So don't be ashamed of that. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm, and I mean that. 
because right. a lot of people cannot relate to what you really feel. People will say that they relate to what you're going through, mm. but nobody can ever really relate because they're not really going through what you're going through, right? Yeah, for sure. So your emotions may be strong like mine, and and it's okay, mm. you know?